Hi guys, this is a video on the Asus EPC. Now I bought this yesterday and I'll just be talking about um, why I bought it and what I like and dislike about it, um, what, I'm, what I've done to it so far and I said once I put XP on it I'd show you it booting so um, I'll be doing that because I've now got it installed. So uh, let's start with uh, why I bought it. Now um, I got this yesterday at the PC shop. Now. Uh, this wasn't an impulse buy at all. I didn't go to the uh, window and say, "Oh, I'll have one of them," and then um, go in and get one. I've been wanting one of something like this for a long time. Um, now I've had plenty of laptops in my time, uh, well, in the last couple of years anyway, and they've all had characteristics that I hate. Uh, one of them is uh, the size of them. Um, I know it's nice to have like a big screen, but for me, it's not. I don't. I, I don't find that right. And um, for a laptop. They're supposed to be portable. Uh, they don't call them even laptops anymore, they call them notebooks. But um, the second thing is the weight of them. Uh, quite a few of my laptops I've had to, uh, when I've put it in my bag, um, I have like a rucksack, um, put it in there, taken it to college, and I, it just hurts my back because I'm carrying it around all day. So, um, yes, the size and the weight has been a problem for me, and I've been, always been looking out for an ultra portable computer, uh, but uh, so far they've all been really expensive and I haven't been able to afford one until this little thing came out now um, this is uh, this seems uh, such a perfect laptop I can't I can't um, big this up anymore because um, firstly it's got a strong user base there's a website called uh, eeeuser.com and there's a hell of a lot of people on that site and it's got so much information on these EEPCs and people recommending software people making software for it um, and I, I've, ne I haven't, I've never seen like a, a website dedicated to one make of laptop. Um, well, other than the MacBook, but that's a, that's a completely different story. So uh, yeah, the user base that has these is very strong. And if you have a problem with one of these when you're doing something, chances are you'll there's a solution to it on that website. And they've got plenty of guides as well for several things you can do on here. Now. Um, uh, what else do I like about it? Um, yeah, the fact that it was cheap. It was half the price of. Um, someone said in a previous video that it was. Um, it must have been really expensive. Now it's. It was half of the price of newer of newer laptops. Um, granted, they have um, more processing power, more RAM, bigger screens, and all that. Um, but uh, it didn't matter to me because um, this just seems like the perfect thing. Now, um, what do I like and what do I dislike about it? Um, obviously I like the size, I like the um, the weight, and I like uh, I like the things that have come with it. I liked um, I like the little carry case that it's got. Um, the uh, fact that it had uh, drivers for this for XP because this is a Linux uh, system. The fact that it had the Windows XP drivers on the rescue disk or the install disk that was brilliant because um, as soon as I installed XP, I needed those, so that was good. Um, now, uh, I like the fact that uh, another great thing about this is you, so you've got the uh, little SD uh, SD or something. You can put SDHC, which is high capacity uh, secure digital cards. Um, you can put class six. Class six is the um, the fastest. And the great thing about that is is that this EPC can boot from the SDHC card. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to go out and buy like three, four gigabyte SDHC cards, and um, and I can then boot. Um, people were moaning at me for having XP, and they're saying be a man, install Linux or something. Um, but uh, what you can, what I'll actually do is um, just swap them and and boot from the SDHC, so I can have several different operating systems running off this one computer. Um, without the need to dual boot or anything, I can just uh, swap it out like a card and then just boot from that. Because um, uh, SDHCs are pretty much fast enough to run an OS off, so 4 gigabytes is the size of the drive in here, uh, the hard drive in here anyway. And that brings me to my bad point, so I suppose I'd have to moan about the size of the hard drive. But in a way, it just brings me back to my old days when I had hardly any hard disk space and I had to look for small, um, very little resource applications. Um, oh, another thing I like about this is I don't know if you can see, but it's like a, a, a like a latch where I can put my RAM in, 
um, some of the um, e EPCs don't have this latch and people have to take the whole cover off to upgrade the RAM but this actually has the latch so I can just lift the latch up put the RAM in that's excellent I'm so glad about that now um, things I don't like was the trouble I had installing uh, XP on this uh, which I'll go into in a second um, I suppose it's not really the PC manufacturer's fault, uh, but it's the fact that it's got a lack of a CD drive that, um, that, that made me struggle because obviously you install XP from a CD, and I don't have a USB CD-ROM drive, but again I'll go into that in a second. Uh, another thing is I have a uh, stuck pixel on this. Um, I'm going to try the various things like JScreen Fix and uh, I think it was UPixel or something. Um, I'll be trying that on this. I've ran it for about 20 minutes but it didn't do anything. Um, which is a shame because I mean it'd be nice to just have like a nice screen on it. Um, another thing I don't like is I'll just show you the power adapter. I showed the power adapter in the previous video. I've actually got to put that into a plug whenever I want to use it. So when I'm carrying this around, um, I have to do this whole uh, power adapter thing and plug it in. It just seems like a huge power thing to put. Um, I don't know if I can buy another one. There doesn't seem to be, be many accessories for the uh, EPC. Uh, most of them are coming from Hong Kong. Um, you've got things like leather um, cases and things like that. Okay, so um, where did I get where I got to now? You notice I said about, about um, Windows XP and not being able to install it with the CD because it hasn't got a CD drive. Uh, what I had to do was actually use these two. Now, uh, this one I bought because it has a tool that makes it a bootable disk. Uh, that definitely came in useful because I could then um, boot with this into the Asus um, EPC into like a DOS or something. Um, well, I think it was a 98, Windows 98 boot disk. I then uh, copied the master boot record across to the Asus EPC because it ruins the bar master boot record if you take the Linux off operating system off so um, if you try and boot it you have problems and then this registers itself as drive C so I had to make it so it would register the Asus piece, EPC drive C and um, I then use this because um, it has USB support in DOS with this so um, I then use this to which is a one gigabyte because this is only 128 megabytes that, that was the problem with this and that's why I struggled so much um, I then copied the XP installation directory, the i386 directory, onto this and then copied it onto the Asus EPC and if you do that you'll notice that it takes hours it took about two and a half hours to copy it and I was having loads of read errors when I was trying to split the files up on this disk and then um, I was getting some read errors on this one as well but I managed to get it installed in the end so uh, after that I was having some driver issues as well I know actually now, I've got it, I've got it working with a full XP install but um, and it was all working okay, uh, but I, f I figured um, there's taken too much hard hard disk space. It was like 1.3 gigabytes of the four gigabytes just with XP on it. So I used something called Nlight to trim down the install, and um, it runs faster and it takes up less space. So um, I've installed some applications in here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up and start it because I haven't got long left to show you. So. Uh, here's the Asus EEPC, you can see me switching the on button here, so I've now pressed it. So you can now, you should now be able to see it booting up. It has a little bit of a delay when you start. There we go. But it actually starts XP fairly quickly, which is great. It uses a 4GB solid state hard drive, so uh, just picture it as flash memory, which makes things, well, uh, uh, some people said it doesn't really, but it should make things run faster. So you can see the XP is um, booting fairly quickly, and it's got a resolution of 800 by 480, which may cause a problem for some people because it. Um, I think Firefox apparently downscales uh, the beta version of Firefox downscales websites to view on here, but other ones you may struggle to. But you probably noticed that on other videos. So you can see we're in XP. Didn't take long to do. So. Uh, all in all, it's a very, very good system, apart from some of the down issues. Another issue is when you go to close it, and it goes to standby, and it does this on Linux as well. Uh, you'll see it goes to standby, flash in there. Uh, when I go to, I actually have to physically press the button to turn it on. Um, but that's about it. So um, these are my thoughts so far. 
Thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.